What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Jeff here with a quick review of my latest purchase, the Castelli Unlimited Bip Short. So I picked these up a few days ago from CompetitiveCycling.com. Roughly $120 shipped. Hey, got them to me in two days. So the reason being, I ride single speed once, twice a week, and it's usually a t-shirt ride. And I've kind of gotten tired of wearing line of shorts and joggers or line of shorts and three quarter uh, sweats. So I said, let me go back and get some bib shorts that I can still stick on with a t-shirt, but have the capacity to carry all the junk that I carry with me on those shorter rides, 30, 40 miles, um, not really speeding, not worried about being aerodynamic. So what I like about these is they have two thigh pockets, one on each side, and also two rear pockets or radio pockets. So starting in the rear, I carry a pretty good size phone, a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which is about an inch longer than this one, but that'll sit in one side and still give me a, another side, which, you know, this is pretty good capacity. I get both of my hands in here. Um, on the sides, got two pockets. They have a nice stitch cover that folds over about an inch. Um, again, Pretty deep. I can get a standard water bottle in here, a few gels, um, granola bars, my trusty speed sleeve jersey wallet. And so that's my car keys ID money right there and mask for the pandemic. Um, great grippers, so great that when you put them on, I have to fold them over, pull the shorts up and then fold them back down. So that's nice grip, nice grip. If you have ever bought Castelli, specifically the cheaper shorts like the Chinto, these are iron on. Once stitched on logo. Okay. Something that I don't like is no reflectors, but these are primarily meant to be worn gravel riding on trails. So. I guess you wouldn't be worried about oncoming vehicles. Um, they are a little bit more robust than the standard build short because they are designed to take branch strikes and are supposed to be resistant to snags. It is the same kids that I've had as many of the other shorts like this Entrada that I've had for a couple of years. Um, again, I love those reflective touches. Same pad design, where you've got a couple of inches of, I call it my vanity strip, so it extends above your man parts, and then the pad starts about three inches back, um, heart shape, splits about halfway up the pad, so right in the middle of the pad, it splits into two. So you've got two moving pieces for your sit bones. Nice and they're nice and perforated. They really feel good. And again, that little bit of extra stitching kind of and that extra cloth kind of helps to get you know between your legs and really kind of roll over the saddle. So when you're squirming around and hitting, these are not digging, burning, or scratchy. You know, I, I cut my labels off on everything. Same thing here, because they do have like a long three-inch label. Yeah. Who knows why? But again, uh, I'm five foot ten, two hundred ish pounds. This is an extra large, which is a little long on me since I'm on the shorter end for this, according to them. You know, they want me to be probably six foot one hundred thirty pounds. So if you, you know, my height five ten ish, they might be a little long, but you can kind of ride them up. And they're still, you know, I've got room to pull them up. They've kind of walked down as I've moved around here. Um, straps, if I didn't say it, I'm much like the ones on these Entradas. Not the greatest, kind of thin, not wide enough. I have other shorts that have straps that are twice the width. And those actually, to me, work better because they spread the weight over the shoulder. It doesn't seem like they're digging in, you know, over the course of a ride, these tend to 
squished together. Probably gonna have the same issue with these. So you end up, you know, digging and pulling and stretching them around. Um, nice height. Come up, you know, if you got a little, a little extra man like I do. Nice compression to hold that in. You get on a t-shirt ride, or even, I may just throw these on, go on a Sunday bunch. But that's it, primarily for that day when I'm riding a bike that doesn't have as much, many places to store my junk. So that's gonna be about it. I'm outside of my usual shooting zone. My neighbor's putting up a shadow box fence. Gonna save me a little money on one side of my yard. Um, and my kids are in school. But anyway, until next time, the Costelli Unlimited Dip Short. You need some storage on the road, on the gravel. Nice pickup. Until next time, peace.